Hi, Brent Tech here. We're Tech is Made Simple. I posted a video a day or so ago that Windows 11 was slowing down performance on SSDs for some users of the operating system. And just to do a quick recap on that video, that there have been an increasing number of reports from some users about the write speeds on certain SSDs being significantly slower. And that's mainly on the Samsung NVMe solid state drives and also recent benchmarks that showed us a reduction in those random write speeds, mainly on the partition and or drive that Windows 11 is installed. And for most users, that would be your C drive. And also there have been some reports that have suggested that those write speeds could be reduced by up to 45%. Now, this is just a quick follow up video to that previous video, which I will leave a link to down below if you're interested. And that is that Microsoft has actually acknowledged this issue and that they are working on a fix, which actually started rolling out with last month, uh, November 2021's optional update, KB5007262, which was an optional bug fix update that uh, rolled out and was not a compulsory update. So you did not have to install this update. And in the release notes for this update, they mentioned that a fix they are working on has started rolling out for this SSD um, issue. So if we just head over to the release notes for KB5007262, which rolled out on the 22nd of November 2021. And we just scroll down to the improvements and fixes, where a list of all those improvements and fixes um, are bullet pointed. And we go down to this particular bullet point, where Microsoft says, addresses an issue that affects the performance of all disks, NVMe, SSD, hard disk, on Windows 11 by performing unnecessary actions each time a write operation occurs. This issue occurs only when the NTFS USN journal is enabled. Note the USN journal is always enabled on the C disk, which as mentioned is your main partition. And for most of you, that would be your C drive where Windows 11 is installed. So as mentioned previously, this is not a widespread problem. So th th this issue is more in the minority than the majority. But if you are experiencing any issues with your SSD drive, as mentioned, then, you know, maybe just go and check out this optional update if you haven't installed it already and download and install it. And hopefully that will address the issue. And if you don't or haven't installed this update, a fix will be included uh, in next week's um, Patch Tuesday uh, cumulative update rolling out on the 14th of December this year, 2021, where a fix for this should be included uh, in that Patch Tuesday update rolling out next week. So if you haven't, as mentioned, just go try downloading this if you are experiencing any issues and hopefully that will resolve the issue as those release notes do state um, from Microsoft that the issue was addressed in this optional update, which rolled out near the end of last month. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.